Hi everybody, in this video we will be starting with Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Movement for Class 10th ICSC. I will be making crash course videos for history civics, so please be updated. You can also buy my ebooks link is in the description box. These are chemistry all reactions ebook, then score 90 plus in ICSC board uh, ebook that is for strategy. So you can have a look in the description box as well. Let's begin with the topic Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Movement. So uh, the Indian National Movement from 1919 to 1947 is known as the Gandhian era. Primarily because the period was dominated by Gandhi and his policies. You'll come to know that a lot of policies were started by uh, Mahatma Gandhi. We'll learn this. Now we will discuss about Gandhi's early life. So Gandhi was born in 1869 at Porbandar, uh, that is a district of uh, Gujarat, to England in 1888 to study law. From 1893 to 1914, he practiced law in South Africa. He witnessed racial discrimination in South Africa and soon became the leader of a struggle against racist authorities in the country. He fought apartheid. Uh, this was um, something that Gandhi did not like, discrimination between uh, white and black people. So apartheid, uh, it was the formal official government policy in South Africa of separating people of different races and making them live apart. So uh, he was in South Africa. Yeah? He formed the Natal Indian Congress to fight against the racist policies of the South African government. It was here that the unique technique of Satyagraha evolved. Gandhi's Satyagraha was based on truth and non-violence. Examples are Saul Satyagraha, then Champaran Satyagraha. There were a lot of Satyagraha which were practiced by Gandhiji in order to remove uh, the problems in the country. It was based on truth and non-violence. Next point, Gandhi returned to India in January 18, uh, 1915 and made an extensive tour of the country in the next three years. In 1917 and 1918, he was involved in three significant struggles in Champaran. You can note them down. Champaran in Bihar, in Ahmedabad and in Kheda, that is in Gujarat. Alright, he practiced Satyagraha in these three places. Moving on, the following methods were used by Gandhi during the freedom struggle. Now Satyagraha, it was based on truth and non-violence. It was a fearless, truthful and peaceful technique aimed at fighting injustice. Now Satyagraha is the way that there is no violence, no fight, no fight. It was only a truth-based struggle. Tha. And Gandhi differentiated between passive resistance and the principle of Satyagraha. While the former does not exclude the use of physical force, the latter is against the use of any kind of force. Satyagraha, jo tha, wo promote nahi karta hai, kisi bhi type ka physical injustice, ye maar nahi promote karta hai. Iska ek tarikhe se ye tha ki aap bina kisi force se aap kya kar sakte ho, aap uh, is movement ko jeet sakte ho. Okay. Second is non-violence. The principle of non-violence was laid down on the principle that no kind of injury should be caused either by words or by action. Gandhi opined uh, that non-violence is a positive and an active force. Third is Swadeshi. It means to produce all necessary goods within the country. Gandhi believed that the use of Sadeshi goods would make uh, India self-sufficient and self-reliant. He stressed upon the use of the charkha and khadi. Next is mass movement. Now Gandhi made the Indian national movement a mass movement. He provided leadership to the masses who followed him 
irrespective of the caste class or religious difference okay so leaders were formed here now we will start with a different types of satyagraha now in champaran the peasants at champaran in bihar were bound by law to grow indigo on 320 part of their land unhe zabardasti bola gaya tha ki aap 320 part mein aap indigo cultivation karenge they had to sell indigo at fixed rates which were extremely low to european planters pehle exploit to kar hi rahe is case mein that you have to grow 320 yet uh, part uh, of their land within indigo and then they are saying that you have to sell indigo at fixed rates to european planters the indigo cultivators invited gandhi to look into their miseries and take up their cause the district administration banned his entry into the district gandhi offered satyagraha due to which an inquiry was ordered into the miseries of indigo cultivators okay yahan par bhi satyagraha start hua tha jo ki gandhi ji ne hi kara tha now ahmedabad satyagraha gandhi provided leadership to the mill workers in ahmedabad in a strike against mill owners who refused to pay higher wages to the workers he went on a hunger strike the mill owners finally had to bow down and agreed to give 35% hike in salaries to the workers to yahi tha ki jo gandhi ji the unhone yahan par mill workers ki help kari in order to increase their wages kyunki kafi kaam rehta tha to 35% hike lane mein gandhi ji safal rahe the is time kheda satyagraha the crops in 1918 failed in kheda and the farmers were not in a situation to pay land revenues to the government yahan par kya ho gaya tha 1918 mein crops fail ho gaye the aur jo farmers the wo land revenues पे करने के लिए उन पे इतने पैसे नहीं थे ठीक है गवर्नमेंट को दे रिक्वेस्टेड द गवर्नमेंट टू वेव ऑफ द रेवेन्यूज बट दे प्लीज वेंट ऑन हर्ट नाउ गांधी टू कप द कॉज द खेदा पीजेंट्स एंड ऑफर्ड सत्याग्रह फाइनली द गवर्नमेंट वॉज फोर्स लुक इन टू द डिमांड्स एंड अराइव एट अटलमेंट विद पीजेंट्स सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल ऑल्सो प्लेड अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन द खेदा सत्याग्रह these struggles brought gandhi into close contact with the masses to yahi ye baat ho gayi thi ki unne request kara government ko jo for farmers the unne bola ki aap revenues please is time ke liye maaf kar dijiye but unke liye unki kisi ne nahi suni just because there was crop failure to land revenues pay nahi kar pate the itna generate hua hi nahi income to yahi par fir se gandhi ji ne satyagraha offer kara फिर जो गवर्नमेंट था उसको फोर्स करा गया कि हमारे डिमांड्स को देखो और उसके बाद वो सेटलमेंट में आ गए पीजेंट्स के साथ इसमें भी सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल ने बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करा था नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन टू अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मूवमेंट एंड दैट इज नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट ओके Now the Congress supported the British government during the First World War. India con- contributed significantly to the war by supplying men and materials in the hope that self-government would be granted to them by the British government by the end of the war. However, Britain, आपको पता है कि Britain uh, he uh, won the First World War. It passed many acts and laws such as the Rowlatt Act. which aimed at suppressing the indian national movement the congress thus decided to launch the non cooperation movement so uh, the causes leading to the beginning of the non cooperation movement we'll be discussing them first the sultan of turkey was regarded as the caliph okay or the religious head of the muslims most of the muslim sacred places were located within the turkish empire in the first world war britain was fighting against turkey britain versus turkey this led to wave of indignation among the indian muslim the second cause is the muslim population in india started the khilafat movement okay under the leadership of mohammad ali and shaukat ali they formulated three point programs which included that the ottoman caliph should retain his empire 
the caliph should be left with adequate territories to enable him to defend the islamic faith and the arab land should remain under the arabic rule ye three points bahut important hai then we have um, to gandhi the khilafat movement offered him an opportunity to unite the hindus and the muslims he advised the khilafat committee to adopt a policy of non cooperation with the government the khilafat non cooperation movement was uh, started on 31st august 1920 now we will discuss about the rawlitt act main iska tha kya to suppress the rising national sentiments in the country the government passed the rawlitt act which empowered it to imprison any person without trial ye jo act tha isne government ko kuch powers de di thi jo ki sahi nahi thi first is to arrest a person main isko likh deti hu fatafat first point is to arrest a person without any warrant second is to try a person in seclusion and to suspend the right of habeas corpus ye writ hai aapko pata hai ye writ isme kya hota hai it protects you against unlawful and indefinite imprisonment okay now uh, gandhi launched a movement against this unjust act shops were closed and workers of the railway workshop went on strike rallies protesting against this act was uh, organized in various cities alarmed by the large participation of people in the movement the government arrested prominent leaders from amritsar and gandhi was barred from entering delhi allow ini kara unko delhi enter karne ka on april 10 april 1919 the police fired on a peaceful procession people retaliated by attacking banks and railway stations kyunki police ne attack kar diya tha jo ki ye strike kar rahe the jo participate kar rahe the in rallies mein to mass ko jab police ne attack kara to mass ne wapas unko kaise pareshan kara by attacking banks and railway stations now we will discuss uh, an important tragedy that is jaliana wala bag tragedy on 13 april a large crowd assembled at jaliana wala bag protesting against the arrest of some of their leaders who criticized the government for uh, for passing the rawlet act general dyer this person blocked the exit of the bag and fired on the unarmed crowd ye jo crowd tha jo ki yahan par normally khade the itne sare log india ke attack kar diya gaya tha un par un pe koi bhi arms nahi the they had no weapons nothing of uh, for their protection this resulted in the death of about 1000 people the killing of innocent people at the jaliana bag shocked the entire region entire nation people in many north indian towns protested against the brutal killings at jaliana wala bag the government brutally suppressed these protests now uh, objectives of non cooperation movement at the kolkata session in 1920 the congress passed the resolution of the non cooperation movement its main objectives were to attain self government within the british empire second to for, force the government to annul the rawlitt act and third to force the british to restore the old status of the sultan of turkey now programs of the movement uh, the non cooperation movement emphasized on the use of swadeshi and uh, boycott programs some of these were to boycott government run schools colleges and courts to boycott foreign goods to promote uh, self made goods okay they were boycotting a lot of things made uh, by british to surrender titles and honorary offices the uh, to popularize the use of swadeshi and khadi clothes to establish national schools and colleges in india as an alternative to government schools and colleges to unify the hindus and muslims and to work for the emancipation and upliftment of uh, women so you can just have a look on uh, your book what is the course of the movement 
many uh, eminent lawyers such as dr rajendra prasad and motilal nehru gave up their practice students left 